Hey everybody, welcome to another episode from Holsingersflyshop.com. I'm Sean Holsinger and today I'm going to tie a nymph pattern. Um, this is one that I was requested to tie. Um, I do custom orders and uh, a guy asked me to tie these for him. So I'm um, filling his orders and doing a video while I'm at it. It's a very cool looking fly. It was created by Scott Major. He has a PA Woods and Water YouTube channel, very big popular channel. Does a lot of fishing, central Pennsylvania, northern Pennsylvania, uh, Delaware. So he does he does a lot of fishing on the water kind of fishing, which is cool, very tough to do. So I respect him for that. And uh, this was a neat pattern he came up with and uh, wanted me to share it with everybody. So I tied his pattern the way I tie it. I'm sure there's a couple of minor little differences, but the things that I found after tying a whole bunch of them was easy for me to do. So. Um, very cool pattern. This is his representation of an Isonychia. Not really a true Isonychia pattern um, per se. It's more of a brown stone. It would, it would work great for a brown stone if you have them in your area. Um, you know, Isonychias have a little bit different tint to them and they're gilly like this with gills in the, <clears throat> in the abdomen area, but it, it's just not the same. So, uh, very cool pattern, catches fish, catches a ton of fish for him, he uses it a lot in his videos, and uh, just a neat looking pattern and a great way to use your lively legs. So here it is, a picture of it and the material list to tie it. All right, here's the nymph in the vise. Very cool looking fly, very buggy, fishy looking fly. So let's get into tying it. For the hook, I'm using a Daiichi 1770. This is a size eight. And uh, you see it's a big swimming nymph hook. And the next thing I'm gonna put on it is some .015 lead wire. And I didn't open up my box yet, so I'll do that now. I like using the smaller lead, especially like on the fly like this, because I'm going to add some body to it and I don't want to add it all at one time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start back here towards the top of the bend and wrap forward. We're going to cover most of the shank here. When I get it up there close to the eye, I'm going to just take my thumbnail and push it all together, get it tight. And then I'm going to go back about four or five wraps and make a second layer to this. It's going to add a little bit of body to the fly and some weight. And I'll go about halfway back. Okay, now we're just going to clean this up. Get that the rest of the way there. The next thing is we're going to add some thread. And for thread, we're going to use some brown 140 denier. And I'm just going to cover the whole hook shank here. And just get that covered up nice. Oops. And then we're going to trim off my thread. Then we're going to grab my ostrich harrow. And the ostrich harrow I'm using here is brown. And this is a nice one here from, this is Wopsy. And you can see it's got some shorter feathers up top and some longer feathers down at the bottom. I'm going to take these long ones here. I'm going to take three of them. And this is going to make my tail. Okay. I'm going to take three of them. I'm going to pinch the tail points to where they all go together. They're all the same length. And we're just going to tie them down and make them, I'm going to make it a little bit long here, but not real long. And I'm going to get them tied in here. Now, You'll see they got nice pointy feathers here, and that's great for a tail, but it's also short on the, the barb rules, or whatever you want to call them here, uh, of the hurl. It's pretty short, and it's not going to wrap up real thick and big like I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, and I'm going to wrap this thread up the body some. I'm going to bring this ostrich hurl up on the body. It's going to add some thickness and body to your fly 
And the other thing it's going to do is it's going to bring me back here into the meteor part of the hurl where the hurl's thicker and bigger. So I can do this all with one piece of hurl. So then we're just going to wrap that back to the tail and clean it up a little bit. Okay, now we want to add some gold wire. For the wire, I'm just going to use some brassy sized gold wire. There we go. And I don't know, about a five or six inch long piece here. I'll just cut that off. And we're going to tie this down. I tie it down on the bottom usually, just where I like to tie it. Gets out of the way there. Then the next thing is I'm going to use a turkey tail. And you see I got this one pricked off pretty good here. I usually use, it starts to get the mottled color down in here, like from there up is where I'll start to use. So I'm going to take off this tip up here and I'm going to take about six strands, maybe four or five, four or five, six, not a whole lot, but enough to make it a little bit wide. Okay, you can see there, that's a little bit wider than the thickness of the hook gap. Now I'm going to come out to the tips, and I'm going to trim the tips off, but I still have a lot of room on here. So now I'm going to come back and I'm going to tie this in. And this is going to be the back of my fly. And we're just going to tie that right to the tail. Now, next thing I'm going to use is some... Um, Stonefly Nymph Gill uh, SLS dub, yeah, sorry, SLF dubbing. I'm just going to pull a pretty good pinch out of this. Now, it's going to take a good bit, but I'm going to put it on here small and build it up. I, I want to build it up little by little. I don't want to make it real big all at once. So we're just going to dub that on here, get a nice, even <coughs> level dubbing there. And then I'm going to start to dub it up, and I'm going to go right around halfway, slightly better than halfway, maybe. But probably closer to halfway. Because of the legs on this fly. The legs are lively leg flies, and they kind of eat up a good bit of room on it. But it gets proportionate here, so like I said, about halfway there. And then we're going to take our ostrich hurl that we have stashed back there. And I'm going to wrap this up, and each wrap is going to be spaced out a little bit. So, in essence, I'm going to get about five turns up here. But you can see what this is doing is adding gills, like a leggy gill look to the fly. So there we go. We're going to trim this off. Now, we're going to take that turkey tail. We're going to pull it up over the back. I'm going to hold it down with my finger and tie it into place. Okay, if I tie it a little bit forward, that's fine. Then we're going to take our gold wire. Um, let me show you there how it goes right down over the middle of the back. Then we're going to take our gold wire, and I'm going to wrap this around. And as I wrap it, I'll kind of try to wiggle it a little bit. Try not to trap too many of those ostrich hurl fibers down. And try to do it evenly, make it look nice. And you're going to try to wrap in between the ostrich hurl. Okay, so we'll wrap and tie that down, and pop it off, come on. Now you see here I got a little bit there where I wrapped that turkey forward and covered up. All I'm going to do, or come in handy here, I'm just going to wrap it back over. So it's nice and easy, that's why it's nice to work with a nice long piece. And then we're just going to... Finish covering this up here a little bit. And then we're going to come in with some SLF dubbing. This is prism or pattern blend again. And this is Red Squirrel Nymph Abdomen. Or sorry, Thorax. Red Squirrel Nymph Thorax. And I'm going to build up this a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't want to go real large because I need to fit my legs on top, but I need to cover this all up. This is the easier way to do this with these lively legs. And so we're just going to come back, we're going to make sure we get this all covered up here. 
Okay, then we're going to take our lively legs, and these are the large lively legs, and you see with them tabs, they're going to be way too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the tabs, and I like to do it this way. Other guys do it differently, but I like to trim off the tabs completely, get it to where it fits on there, and then I'm going to take and put some more dubbing on my thread. Wet her down, get it good and tight there. And then we're going to set those legs up on top. And we're going to hold these into place with this dubbed thread we have here. So I'm going to keep it back just a hair. So i got room to tie off my head in a moment. And we're going to tie in between them legs. Watch you don't roll them down over the side too far. And then we're just going to cover it up. So we got a pretty good coverage there. You can see on top I got it covered, but down here is what the fish is going to see. Now we're going to come, you see I had to, I ran out of a little bit of dubbing there right before the eye. So I want to cover that just a hair. So I got to go thin, but not too much here because I don't have a lot of room to go. And I need to build a nice head up, on a nice clean head. So there we go go so now I got that all covered like I want now I'm gonna pull the rest of this turkey tail fiber down over the front and I'm gonna wrap it and tie it off so we're just gonna wrap it right in behind that eye then I'll pull that turkey fiber back and make a couple wraps over it just to secure it into place and then we're gonna whip finish All right, once we get the whip finish done, trim the thread, trim the turkey, and then I'm going to come in. There you see I got that nice, nicely done there. Just going to take this medium viscosity, cover up that wing case made out of turkey there, and try to get it on your thread but not in your eye, which can be difficult. And then I usually try to put a little dab down on the bottom just to secure it. Okay, so you see I got a nice wing case there on top. Just hit that with my light. And this fly is all done. Great looking, very cool pattern. Okay, everybody, I hope you like Scott's Big Nymph. It's a very cool pattern. And, uh, you know, a couple different colors. He also uses ginger. Ginger makes a nice golden stone fly. Um, like I said, it's a, not a true Isonychia, it's more of a brownstone, but, um, but it's still a very buggy pattern and it will catch a fish. So give it a try, have fun tying it, use up them lively legs. Um, you know, it's all stuff we carry in the shop, so if you need any of it, get down in the bottom to the description down there. Uh, I have links to all the materials, you can find it there to tie it, and we appreciate you watching and uh, supporting us. So thanks again for watching everybody. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.